Welcome to the Organic MD Podcast. Hi, this is Dr. Damon Miller. I'm your Organic MD. And this is Carlisle Koash. Once again, thank you for joining us at our podcast, as well as checking out our website, OrganicMD.com, and our YouTube page. So I just wanted to talk today in a general way about autoimmunity. Um, we've got a bunch of articles and posts we've been putting up about different aspects of autoimmunity, um, but I really wanted to come back just to the the broad topic of autoimmunity because that's one of the things I'm finding in the responses we're getting to these different posts and articles is, um, first of all, people are very grateful to hear a positive voice saying there's something maybe that you can do for these things. And what I realize when people respond that way, they're doing that because what they've been told all through the problems that they've wrestled with if they have an autoimmune challenge is there's nothing you can do. You know, and I just, uh, you know, I'm sorry that that's the message you've been given because it's just not true. You know, so one of the things that is coming to be understood about autoimmunity, it's not, it's not the mysterious disease that medicine likes to portray it as. You've got an immune system that is so overstimulated that it's boiling over and it reaches a point where it starts producing antibodies against your own tissues. It's out of control. Hmm and you start creating antibodies against your own tissues. Now, there are some mysteries in this. You know, why would some people develop antibodies against their thyroid and have an autoimmune thyroiditis? Why would other people develop antibodies against their gut and get some kind of inflammatory bowel disease? And other people would develop antibodies against their joints and get some kind of autoimmune arthritis, like rheumatoid arthritis or um, some of the other autoimmune arthritis diseases. So other people would develop autoimmune reactions that would involve their skin, like eczema or psoriasis. And, you know, you, it makes no sense. I do not have an answer to that, why the reaction that the body would have would be one tissue or one organ in one person and another tissue, another organ in another person. Because the, the fundamental underlying issue is the same in everybody. And this includes just simple uh, kind of autoimmune things like being twitchy when you have asthma. You know, you have a, an exaggerated response to things in the environment and you end up asthmatic or you just have, you know, your sinuses become all inflamed, you know, just simple allergic reactions like that. There's whatever symptom it is that you have, multiple things have contributed to it and pushed you over some threshold where you're so reactive now that you start having symptoms. And... Um, you know, that's, that's just the basic thing. And from that understanding comes then an idea about what do you do about it. I think you reflect something here that is why so many people are told, well, there's nothing that we can do. Because in general, the system that is set up now, at least in the West, or at least in the U.S. anyway, is... As the doctor, I might have eight minutes or ten minutes, you know, you're kind of cranking through people. And this kind of thing that you've just said, you know, why is it that for this person it manifests this way, for this person it manifests this way? Well, to get to the root of it takes time to f really get a sense of what's going on for that person, what are the factors at play, what's affecting them, so that you can kind of get through it and maybe get them out of that situation. But there's no way you're going to do that in eight minutes. It's yeah, and so almost what, is, impossible. what do you do when you're a doctor? And I'm a doctor, okay? Yeah. I'm speaking now from this is what I was taught to do. What you're taught to do when you're a doctor is people have symptoms, and Western medicine thinks of these problems in exactly the way I'm describing. Mm -hmm. You have an overactive immune system. It's causing problems. So what do you do? You try to kill it. You try to poison it. You give steroids or drugs that are even worse, things like Remeron and all these uh basically immune suppressive drugs who have terrible side effects, you know, cause all kinds of crazy infections, cancer. You, it's just who would want those drugs? But the, the idea that you just simply beat up the immune system to the point where it can't respond anymore. <laughs> you know, it's like, you know, and I I'm going to show you a immune system. Uh, that's right. I mean, We're really going to take, you know, it and the you. analogy I like to use is you've got a, a, a child that's disruptive in a school classroom. OK, and it's just tearing everything up. So if you if you hit it over the head enough, that child will stop tearing things up and, you know, you've solved your problem sort of. But that no one would say that that's a good solution. 
Mm. And that's true in your body, too. You know, to try and poison this very valuable and important system in your body just to suppress your symptoms, you're, there's going to be a long-term cost for that that you were, really don't want to pay. Mm. And so to get more to the root of things isn't as hard as it sounds. And we t I talk about this in terms of five factors. And we've got articles on each of these in the, uh, on the web page at Organic MD, and, um, and I and I think too we're gonna we're gonna do some more in depth yeah, we'll conversations about these yeah but, and some conversations about this but, but just quickly the five factors and it isn't that these are the only things that can uh, overstimulate or stimulate your immune system but they're the five things that you have some control over five things we can change so food sensitivities you know you can change what you eat. Uh, toxins. Toxins in your body can cause an immune reaction. There are things you can do to detoxify and reduce the toxic load in your body. Emotional toxicity. You know, your emotions, stress, emotional grief. toxins, grief, all those things have a huge effect on your immune system. And you can do things to work with those, you know, so that they're not so corrosive and so caustic. Um, chronic infections. And under chronic infections also just a very disordered population of bugs in your gut, your biosphere, you know, the bugs that coexist with you can be really out of whack. And that's almost like an infection and it causes a lot of immune response. And then there are other chronic infections like hepatitis, even something as simple as gum disease, mm -hmm. um, you know, and then other more serious things that are chronic infections. But infections, that's a, well, that's a no brainer. Infections clearly stimulate your immune system. And if they're chronic, they chronically stimulate and overstimulate your immune system. And the final one is just all the crap in the environment. <laughs> Everything from pollen to PCBs to industrial chemicals and solvents and yeah. coal dust and smoke and particulate matter from diesel and, you know, just all the stuff that we're exposed to in ever increasing amounts. That's one of the harder ones to deal with. But even there, you can do some things to reduce your exposure to environmental toxins. And I, I think a point that we've said a few times in the posts, this is complex and it's generally not just one thing. It's, it's usually never one thing. a combination of things. And um, so it takes some time. You know, I, I think we are acculturated a little bit to, I just want a pill that will get rid of it all or stop it or change it. And it takes a little bit more than that. But if you are willing to do it, uh, you can have some pretty significant oh, change. I, you know, I cannot tell you the number of people with inflammatory bowel disease and in autoimmune thyroiditis and even simple things like eczema, you know, that just dealing with the five things, the five factors that I've mentioned, these people do not have symptoms anymore and they did not take steroids or dangerous drugs. Hmm. And, um, you know, in addition to just sort of understanding the concept here, that's really all this particular podcast is about is just the big concept. Um, you also have to get out of the mindset of thinking of just one thing. So if you eat some cheese or drink some milk and you get eczema, it wasn't just cow dairy that gave you the rash. Hmm. You were already poised right at that threshold. One more thing pushed you over the edge and you had a symptom. But the things that raised you up so you were standing right at that threshold were the infections and the emotional toxicity and the other food sensitivities and the environmental stuff and the toxins in your body. You know, so it, it's always a big pot of stew, a mm. stew of these things that overstimulate you. And there's, you know, if you look at just the one last one that caused the pot to overflow, you're going to miss the bigger picture mm. here. Mm. <sighs> yeah. So wow. much to Hey, we should write a book about. about this. You know, I think you have a good idea. I think, yeah, this may have to be our next book. Yeah. Hey, if you have an idea for a title for a book on autoimmunity, you know, let us know. Well, and as I think, as you said in the beginning, it's amazing when when we posted the different articles on autoimmune, just how much response and how the, it's clearly something that's up for people. And it seems like people are really craving some solutions or at least some ways to deal with it. Yeah. And I got to tell you, these are it's an epidemic of autoimmune disease. Hmm. You know, it's a it's not a trivial problem. Yeah. You know somebody with these diseases. And if you don't, it's because they're just not talking about what's going on. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, that's a, I think that's a, a good start for today. So to your health, this is your Organic MD.
And as always, thank you for joining us and listening to the podcasts. You can go to our website, organicmd.com. There's lots of extra information in all our posts, as well as our YouTube page, uh, or also OrganicMD, and all our videos are there, so check those out. We have podcasts and videos, and we just keep adding stuff every day, so keep checking it out. Yeah, we're, we're here for you, so thank you. Have a great one. Mm-hmm.